The gentleman from California, Mr. Rohrabacher, the vice chairman of the committee, is recognized. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. You know, when I first heard about this uh, concept of the flyby with Mars, a human flyby, um, it was presented to me by a man who I deeply admire, Dennis Tito, who is a man who has inspired many, many Americans with what his own courage and his own uh, vision uh, uh, accomplished uh, years ago and, and over the years has been very, very creative in his approaches to space. But when it was first, and I boiled well, on it, it was a great idea, but his proposal to me was, and to us, uh, was a project that was fully funded by uh, the private sector. And now all of a sudden, it's not funded by the private sector anymore. It's the same mission. But now it's going to come out of the public sector money. Hmm. Uh, and while I thought it was a great idea, if people were willing to take the risks and uh, spend the money uh, in the private sector, I think this is a foolhardy use of very limited government resources uh, as compared to if private people want to put their money up. Um, uh, General Lyles, good to see you again, sir. Always great to see you. And uh, you talked about 35 years in Air Force and, and how you understood a high risk that is associated with various projects. There is a very high risk associated with this, is there not? Uh, Congressman, yes, there is. Uh, yeah. Whether you're talking uh, the technology itself or even uh, uh, from a policy perspective and certainly the funding uh, aspect of it. Uh, the, the, both the technology end of it, both the funding end of it, and both the actual accomplishing the mission uh, is just there's many, many risks, a lot more risks than other things that we might accomplish in space with the limited dollars that we have uh, if we expended those dollars toward those other goals. Isn't that the case? Yeah, Congressman, I would not disagree with that, but I, I think that's one of the reasons why I think it's very important to look at how uh, that particular idea, uh, a Mars flyby, uh, could be linked to other things that we're already doing, uh, the program that we're currently embarked upon, whether you call it asteroid retrieval or whatever the, the right title is. Uh, there are aspects of the technology we're developing for the current program, uh, obviously SLS, Orion, that could be applied to uh, a mission such as a flyby. I'm not oh. quoting a specific time. Right. Uh, so I, I, I think it could be linked to other things. Well, but that's just with a space launch system. I can do other things. Uh, General, uh, when we're talking about the risk, what would you say? Would you, uh, if you had to put your own money into this, let's say you had to, to bet your mortgage money, would you bet your mortgage money on the success of this mission? Congressman, my money wouldn't get us very far, probably, at, at all. But uh, <laughs> uh, the, the answer is right now, uh, in terms of a vision, uh, innovative idea, I like it. In terms of understanding all the risks, uh, I would be reluctant to put uh, my own money into that until I better understood what all the challenges are. Well, thank you very much for being very frank with us on that. And uh, Dr. Pace, uh, the uh, you just mentioned the cooperative efforts, uh, uh, how important that is, and for all of nations to participate. Are there any other nations involved with putting money into this project? Uh, nope. Okay, and that's it. Thank you. I appreciate that. There is no, could I, that's could correct. I, there are not. And uh, could I uh, could yes, I add one? Yes. Uh, there there were uh, initial conversations on the possibility of, of contribution of a lab of a, a habitat structure. Um, I mean, obviously, all those kind of things have to right. have to play their course. But but there have been some initial discussions okay. internationally. There are some discussions. All right. Uh, when <laughs> go from some discussions to actually commitments, uh, so there's a lot of a lot of space between those two. Um, now let us note that this is a mission that has to be accomplished in seven years. I mean, we have to do this within that seven-year period. All of these factors have to be together, and then the technology has to work. And I think isn't this mission the very first 
mission that ASLS is going to have, and it's got to happen within that seven-year period. Uh, would you like to give us your estimate as to a guesstimate as what the chances of, I mean, you've followed space programs. How many have really met their deadline in the last few years? Yes. I'm sorry, I wasn't where you were addressing it. Well, I think, um, again, if we really wanted to do this and we committed to do it, we could do it, but that, mean, that means it has to be fully resourced with the appropriate um, manpower and now money the, the and everything essential else. Word, the most important word you used, and I used when you testified, was the word can and could. Yeah. That's a lot different than will. Exactly. And uh, uh, the fact is that... Um, do you really see that the, right now that there's a commitment uh, in this country uh, so that we don't start a bud down this trail, spending a lot of money, and then at the end of the trail not have accomplished the mission because the will wasn't there? Yeah, that's the big problem. We don't have a, a really strong commitment for a long-term vision for our space program. So we don't country. have it now, but we, we should move forward on this even though we don't have that will now. If, if you recall in my testimony, I, I commented that any mission that we do, whether it's a lunar mission or an asteroid mission or the Mars flyby, all needs to be in a larger context of what are we trying to do long term as a country in space, yeah. and we need to make the, that plan. The gentleman's yeah. time yeah. has long yeah. since expired. Yeah. The gentleman, just and 10 yeah. seconds, and that is just to say there are many great space projects that we need to fund. Mm -hmm. There are many of them, mm -hmm. and uh, this uh, Thank you, Mr. funny Roy this Roger. would mean not that we're retreating from space. And